The biggest question is always, what do we dream of when we have uh, dreams? Well, we don't really remember. We sometimes remember and sometimes we do not remember. But some people, in the, especially in the fiction world, can have the most amazing of nightmares. But that is just uh, nightmare fuel in it all, as Magiga this spell returns. Although we couldn't really call her the spell anymore. The angry Emmy fan here with a late review of Black Tales. <laughs> Season 2, episode 19 of the Nightmare on Kilmore Hill. An episode that stars the ducklings, including uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, as well as Lena, Webby, and uh, their new friend Violet. It turns out that Lena has been trouble sleeping and they're going to have a sleepover. Much to her, well, discomfort, because she has had nightmares that magic is keep on really haunting her. So in the end, she's still afraid to tell her friends. In the end, everyone falls asleep and in a special ritual, and all of them enters each other's dreams. Dewey's uh, dream is basically him in a Dewey high, doing a <laughs> lame catch song, almost like High School Musical. In fact, in the Darkwing Duck episode, it was implied he really loves musicals. Also, it seems like he has a love interest that has both a masculine and a feminine voice, possibly implying that he is either bi or he is just too young to really know which one he does prefer. Well, that makes me a little bit questionable, uh, but we'll see about that. Louis, then they enter Louis' dream where he is actually a Korean cat being pampered all the time. <laughs> Lena briefly turns into a wolf, actually representing something else. And also Beakley appears in that episode, speaking very similar to that, um, what, what was it called? Well, no, what is it called? Red Dwarf from Twin Peaks, something like that. When they enter Huey's dream, though, he only dreams of being taller because, well, he's a big brother and want to be taller. In the end, though, Magica does find Lena and possesses her body. But thanks to the power of friendship uh, and everyone's dream, they manage to free Lena from everything else. But also manage to tra track down the real Magica, who is actually revealed to be living as a bum outside of the Scrooge McDuck Manor using a helmet which uh, she stole, probably from Gyro or someone else, that can can't enter them in dreams. The reason why she's haunting Lena is because Lena is actually, as we all know, was her shadow be that we animated. So according to Magica, she may actually hold all of her magic. Because Magica this spell is no longer a threat. No, she has become even more insane than before, but now... She's just an insane, crazy lady. So the kids just walk away. Well, I have to say I enjoyed the journey into the, um, into the dream world. Seeing everyone's <laughs> different reactions of the different dreams. As well as... Uh, uh, we even saw Webby's dream, which... Uh, in, or a place where, well, you know, they were on a stranded island and hamburgers fill in. It is, it is really a very funny situation in this situation. So, uh, and Magica, the only real disappointment is that Magica is no longer a threat. She is now a joke villain. That's a little bit of a shame, but I guess it makes sense. So give me your thoughts if you have any.